Okay, so, so what we've talked about is the rules of a game, okay? Is, okay, we're going to measure this thing. We're going to understand the relationships. This is the way we're going to release it based on this algorithm, stacking it, reversing time. We're going to take out the compression because everybody's compressed. And then we're going to hit it at these certain release points and release triangles so that we can grab these myofascial lines and we're going to release them and take them to tension using patient placement and, <clears throat> excuse me, and line of drive based on the postural wave to, to increase tension just like you're snapping a rubber band. And that's what we're going to do. And we understand that. Well, that's great. Okay? Every one of us probably understands the game of some sport, go play it and be a pro. Okay, so the next piece to this, how do you hit the ball? And that's the one that um, creates the biggest problem. And the reason it creates the problem, and, I, and this, is, this is important, is that the biomechanics is picked up by what? How do we, how do we, how do we, how do we understand that? We understand that through what part of the body? Mind, right? See, the mind can easily say, okay, do it this way, do it that way, this is this way, this is that way. What is the activity of the correction, the adjustment? That's our spirit. That's, a unique, that's our innate intelligence. I am in the zone. That's a hard one to do. And the reason it's difficult is because our brains are so busy all the time with webinars, with Facebook, with our patients, with whatever you're doing in the office, all the stuff that takes you away from this right here. Okay, I had, I had two guys in my office tonight. I guarantee they heard me say a couple times through the day when somebody asked me a question, I don't know, I do this. So the biomechanics of getting the mind in a place that it actually thinks it knows better only allows this to happen here so the soul and your innate intelligence can actually do what it needs to. You know? Thankfully, universal intelligence put something that allowed the soul, the universal intelligence, the energy within us, the wisdom within us, to at times supersede the mind. And that for me is when I adjust people. Okay? So it's not a put your foot forward, hip explode, make contact, drive it through, get to the tension, release it, pow. Do it at release point three, bing, bang, boom, boom. There are too many chiropractic procedures that do that. But when you get to a place that you go, man, I, I see this and I feel this, then the mind relaxes and the innate intelligence takes over. And what do we call that? I'm in the zone. I'm flowing. Okay? You guys know this place. You have felt this place before somewhere, somehow, where you were just resonating with the universe. Everything is flowing and working. That is the place you have to be. If you want to be an unbelievable chiropractor, you've got to be able to get to that place. 